welcome back to the Capitol. It's been several weeks since we've had a chance to uh, catch up, so I'll let you know what's up at the Capitol. Today we're on the House floor voting on the Ag Environment Omnibus Bill. We've been at it for a number of hours now and I think we're winding down. I'll have to get back in to vote here shortly. So of particular interest to folks in Rochester certainly is the DMC project. We have uh, language now in the tax bill. It was inserted by the tax chair, um, a variation on what we had been working on and calling Plan B. Uh, she had her own idea of what Plan B should look like and put that in the bill for us. Uh, some of it I think we're quite comfortable with. Other parts of it uh, we need to think about a little bit. Uh, Mayo Clinic certainly has some thinking to do about the governance portion and uh, there is more transparency for the community and I think uh, Representative Lincheski when she was in our community heard that feedback and reacted to it uh, with some provisions in the bill that uh, provide open meeting law rules uh, for not only the Destination Medical Center Corporation but also giving uh, City Council vote and approval on a number of provisions including all plans and expenditures. So. Uh, it should be interesting to see how that uh, continues as it moves through the Senate and into conference committee. Health and Human Service, of which I'm uh, Vice Chair in Finance, rolled its omnibus bill out of Ways and Means yesterday. There are a couple of great provisions that I feel wonderful about in there, but all in all, we had to make cuts in that bill, uh, or at least find efficiencies in order to fund the things we felt were priorities. The good news is there are uh, some small cost of living increases for our nursing homes and long-term care providers little bit of money in there for homeless youth and safe harbors for the sex trafficked uh, children in our state. Specifically in the Health and Human Service Bill, some provisions I was working on had to do with, with dental reimbursement and also adding some codes so our disabled population is able to access the care they need and deserve. Also the Autism Bill, while not in the form we like it, is still in the bill. So we are alive for conference committee and I'm hoping that we can continue to keep that in. We are working very closely with the governor's office, uh, who also is interested in uh, the changes that we want to make, uh, not only in his uh, medical assistance and department uh, office, but also making certain that the insurance companies cover their clients. So um, lots going on in there. You'll hear more about the Health and Human Service Bill as it rolls out. Some, some um, areas of concern have a, a, a would, I'd recognize the hospital surcharge as one of the largest ones, particularly for Mayo Clinic. So a lot going on for Mayo here uh, in our community, certainly in the area of health care. Uh, we're uh, sitting on the floor today looking out the window in the back room and notice that there's snow on the ground. A uh, little uh, bit of a surprise for April. I think it's the second snow we've had in the last couple weeks. Um, big snow, measurable, but I think there's been snow multiple days in a row, which is very unusual for Minnesota in the spring. Uh, hopefully we'll be done well, probably at the end of spring when summer rolls out. Uh, with our uh, all of our omnibus bills and uh, we'll be keeping you updated on those as they roll off the floor and into conference committees as the session nears an end. About four weeks left and uh, the session will come to a close uh, mid-May. So that'll be it for right now. If you uh, want to contact me you can always send me an email, place a phone call, uh, visit me when I'm home on the weekends. Thanks so much. Until next time.